PC Whiskit here with some extreme CPU cooling from Corsair, the H105, part of the Hydro series of CPU coolers. This one here can obviously take care of your AMD or Intel CPU. Here are the specs for it. Comes with the dual SP120L fans, okay, which I'll be using in this uh, review. And you can see also the airflow noise levels and the pressure. Now, again, if you have an Intel or AMD CPU, those are the sockets that it would support, of course. So all the latest and greatest and previous generations as well. You can see here in the box, you got the manual warranty card information. And in there, of course, the dual fans right off the bat, you see them in there. You do need fans for a radiator this size, 240 millimeter. Take advantage of your case. Use it if you have the space. Here in this case, we're going to be using these two fans, point them in the right direction and get some nice cooling going on for the overclocking that I'm about to do. So in the box, we got the brackets, we got all the information there. They're trying to make it as toolless as they can, of course, and that's what we want with this new type of mounting that they have going on. Quick tool free assembly is what I'm talking about. And of course, customization on the rings there for colors. That's nice little add on. Here is a look at the uh, 240 millimeter uh, radiator again. Good size. I got to say the thickness of it is great because you do want to be able to catch as much heat coming through that uh, liquid uh, all in one cooler and having that fan push that hot air out is really going to help as well. So there you go. We're going to install this in my mini case in just a second. Taking a look there at the base, you can see here that it already comes pre-applied with the thermal grease. So that's going to save you a step right there. You don't have to uh, worry about that one. Just careful, don't touch it. And uh, the ring and bracket is already uh, good to go. So that's going to make it easy again and uh, save you a step. There's that ring that it comes with in, in um, gray, and uh, that's just a color thing for style. You can change it again to blue or uh, red. The installation on this one is going to be quite simple. We're going to start off with the fans, of course. Looking at the orientation, the, the fan flow, you want to make sure that you look into that, figure out how you want to do it. In my case, I'm going to be blowing the hot air out of the case, outside throughout the top. So I've already positioned the fans are going to be like this. Uh, and I've put in the uh, screws that it comes with, these long screws, attach them to the radiator through the holes of the fans, of course. And that's the first step for me whenever you install a CPU cooler like this. Now, here is the case, the BitPhoenix Phenom case that I've, uh, go I've chosen basically this one because it's easy, it's modular, I can gut it very very nicely and take out things so that I can have lots of space and believe it or not this fits beautifully in there doesn't touch anything nothing gets in the way has access at the top for the radiator here's the uh, mini ITX board that I've installed again the uh, CPU cooler on there very nicely again with the thumb screws it attaches toolless design very easy there are the thick tubes. I do like the quality of those tubes, by the way. Nice, good thickness, good rubber. And uh, there it is up and running. So gives you a good idea. It's not that hard. It's just a matter of planning ahead, you know, figuring out what it is that you want. Can it fit in the case? Look at the dimensions, pick your parts appropriately, and then it'll look beautiful. Here's the uh, system up and running. We're going to do some benchmarks on this puppy. Again, AMD, machine in this case but it can be an intel okay it doesn't matter i'm just using the amd uh, as an example so when it comes to temperatures on this machine i have it overclocked the 7850k to 4.6 gigahertz on this msi board with 2133 memory of course everything running as fast as i can with that large sapphire r9 270x graphics card which again is overclocked in itself on average, we're going to be looking at temperatures ranging around the 35 to 44 degrees Celsius. That's your average load. On full-blown 100% load, this Corsair H105 is keeping things cool at 53 degrees Celsius, 127 Fahrenheit, as you can see right there, with its MSI control center having the smart mode fan enabled. It's uh, and it's basically taking a good... good uh, temperature readings there you can see that uh, very stable um, very nicely done there 
from Corsair in conjunction with these beautiful fans that are really nice. They're, they're not loud at all. And the customization on the rings, you know, you can match it to your board, you know, blue or green. That's nice. Uh, toolless design. Uh, again, can't go wrong with Corsair. They did a great job on the H105. I'd like to thank them for providing it. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in seeing the video review on that mini PC, I'll add the link below. Thank you for watching.